Every once in a while, a story comes across our plate where we're like, hey, something seems interesting here. So um, there is an interesting one here, and we have, uh, are joined by Martha Byrne in studio today, and we appreciate your being here, uh, to talk about the fact that her husband is facing some charges on some things that you actually don't know what he's being charged for. Right. So, so let's talk about your story. So my husband is a former NYPD sergeant, worked in street crime, you know, highly decorated police officer, and then he was in a police chase, a car accident, ended his career. Right. So he became a private investigator and became one of the most sought-after PIs probably in the tri-state area. Federally and licensed. Federally licensed CGA uh, uh, investigator and working on great high-profile cases. And then on October 28, 2020, the FBI came to our house and swarmed our house and arrested him for failure to register as a foreign agent based on a case he worked for for a few days in 2016 and 2007. So four years earlier. Four years earlier. Very routine case, background checks, asset searches, did a few days of surveillance where he notified the local police department, as he always did, that he was there. He always was by the book guy. Sure. So we are still to this day wondering why he was arrested because everything he did he was legally allowed to do as a licensed private investigator. Right. So you scratch your head going, how are we here? How did this even happen? What happened after the arrest? So he was arrested and he uh, we had to put up $500,000 cash bail. And then the first thing you do, you come home and you start getting your files out. He saved every text message, email, invoice, and put the timeline Very PI-like. Very PI-like. That's what yeah. they do. They save yeah. everything and see how did this even happened. So we did a 40-page proffer for the federal government with all this evidence before his indictment and said, look, guys, here's all the evidence. We'll, we'll give you everything. Mike will talk to you. He's still to this day never been brought in to speak to, and they still indicted him after the mountains of evidence that is to their, they have it, and we've also given it over to them. So we're still fighting this. Well, one of the things that caught me about this case is it is very difficult in any, any legal term to prove a negative. Yeah. You actually have a mountain of evidence where you had said, like, during this investigation, they, like you said, notified local police departments right. of what he was doing. So right. it was not like he was hiding anything. No. Lo you know, federally licensed to do all these things. Right. He was federally, uh, you know, notified the federal authorities of what he was doing at the time. Right. And then all of a sudden, you, you provide all these proofs of negatives, which is right. very difficult. Right. And they still arrest you and say, we're charging you with something, but don't worry about what we're charging you. We'll get back to you. Pretty much. I mean, we're still waiting. We've seen thousands of pages of discovery to this point, and we right. still, there's still no, nothing because they're never going to be anything. Well, they're charging right. you with, with him illegally doing, investigating things that he was legally licensed by the federal government to do, well, right? Well, it, it, it is as licensed PI. So, right. by the way, he was hired by an American company a translation company. He was paid through an American bank, an American check. How can you fail to register as working for a foreign agent when the people, the clients that right. hired you are not giving you a business card saying I'm a Chinese agent? Like he, th nothing he did was so illegal. I, what I'm saying, what they asked him to yeah, do was right. within the scope of what he was allowed to do. So I got to ask the, the tough question here. It's like we, we saw like my, General Michael Flynn got caught up in similar things and they wanted to hit him for FARA stuff. And um, do you think it's politically motivated for anything you might have been involved with in the past or no, currently? I mean, not us. I mean, obviously, like, we're just civilians. We're U.S. citizens. Right. Like, he's a hero. My husband won the combat cross for his dedication to this country, to his service for the NYPD. He's a hero. So, no. Is it political on the other side? I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the motivation was to, to put this to the forefront of a case that was just kind of... And then he yeah. just worked on this case for a couple of days, A couple of said? days. He did a couple of days in, in uh, 2016 in the fall it's, it's and some surveillance. And then you never thought about it again. And the next thing you know, your life is turned upside what down. What has this done to your family? It's devastating. I mean, my poor children. I mean, yeah. I get so upset because my daughter said, she goes... The fact that I was going public, she said, I'm so glad you're going public. Can you please let the FBI know that they scared me yeah. when they were coming down the hallway? And how I didn't know what, did, she was 13 at the time. And they impressed him in front of my children. It was so unnecessary because he was a federally approved investigator, which means he was working on other federal cases. High For the pro federal government, right. yeah. And yet they didn't bring him in in 2017 to it bring him on as sense. an asset for this case. He would have been yeah. so yeah. happy to help. And, so yeah. that's why we fight. You know, we have yeah. to continue. Well, Please keep it, us posted. Yeah. Yeah. And Thank the you. Pipe Pitter Foundation, yes. uh, they are doing uh, a, a big a fundraiser yeah, for you guys for, for legal them. fees and things like that. Yes, so, thank God for the uh, Pipe Pitter Foundation. They really, Eddie Gallagher, they, they were just unanimously voted to support us and help us fight this. Because my husband will never yeah. take a plea deal. He will never stand in front of a yeah. judge and say he did yeah. something he didn't do. So we have to 
fight Absolutely. for everybody. We'll keep yeah. fighting. Martha thank Byrne, you. thank you so much. Please thank keep us posted. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Much more ahead and Wake Up America weekend. The baby formula crisis. We're talking